So what happens next in Rajasthan, in Kerala and in the Congress in Delhi? Rajdeep Sardesai joins us. He's been dialing the phone lines. Is it now certain that Ashok Gehloth cannot be Congress president or is he still hoping to work out some kind of compromise formula? Rahul, the news that we are getting speaking to someone very close to Ashok Gehloth is simply this. A. He says, importantly, we are not rebelling against Sonia Gandhi. Please do not make this Gehloth versus Gandhi in the ways that you are projecting at the moment. I am happy to move to Delhi as Congress President, but the choice of Rajasthan Chief Minister must be left to the MLAs. Number three, I hope to meet the Gandhis and resolve this issue. Ready to step down as Rajasthan Chief Minister, but only after the issue of the new Rajasthan Chief Minister is resolved. And along with this, we are told Rahul that the Gelod camp is particularly upset with the central observers claiming that a one-line resolution had been decided upon authorize, authorizing the Congress President in advance to decide on the successor and that Sachin Pilot had been almost anointed as that successor. Their claim is that Ajay Makan and Malikarjun Kharge, when they came to Jaipur, should have first consulted all the MLAs before holding the CLP meeting rather than choosing to do so after the meeting. Now, this is what the Gaylord camp is claiming. On the other side, what those close to the Gandhis are claiming is that an agreement of sorts had been worked out with Mr. Gaylord that the moment he was ready to file his nomination as Congress President, he would step down as Chief Minister and leave the decision of his successor to the Gandhis. Now, the Gaylord camp says no such agreement on Sachin Pilot was ever reached and that's where I think things broke down because the truth is Mr. Gaylord wants to have at least one foot in Rajasthan even if he becomes the Congress President and for him having Sachin Pilot would virtually mean the end of the Gaylord era. So I think What's happened, uh, Rahul, is a lack of political intelligence on part of the Congress leadership, where the left hand at times didn't seem to know what the right hand is doing, the absence of political crisis management, and a weakened high command that cannot enforce its writ on assertive satraps like Gaylord. But the sense one got after speaking to sources close to Mr. Gaylord is it's not as if he has given up on moving from Jaipur to Delhi, provided his person is made the chief minister one of the key associates of ashok gehlot in this entire drama is pratap singh kacharevas he joins us now live from jaipur kacharevas ji kal se pura desh aapko dekh raha hai ek tarike se aapne is ladai ko gehlot banam gandhi bana diya hai gehlot ji ko chuna gaya gandhi family ke trusted umidwar ke taur pe ki inko banaya jayega adhyaksh aapne pheki aisi googli कि पूरा देश देख रहा है कि ये कचारियावास जी क्या कर रहे हैं क्यों गहलोत की गांधी से लड़ाई करा रहे हैं आप एक बात आप मानकर चलिए ये लड़ाई गहलोत वर्सेस गांधी नहीं है गांधी खानदान के लिए सोनिया गांधी जी राहुल गांधी जी के आह्वान पर हम सब लोग राजस्थान का एक एक विधायक मोदी सरकार के खिलाफ राहुल गांधी जी की यात्रा चल रही है जब भी आह्वान करेंगे सोनिया जी राहुल गांधी जी हम हमारी जान दे देंगे अपना खून पसीना बहा देंगे लेकिन ये लड़ाई गहलोत वर्सेज गांधी नहीं है आप ये मानकर चलिए जब बीजेपी ने षड्यंत्र करके सरकार गिराने की कोशिश की तब एक डेढ़ महीने तक सारे एम कैंप में रहे और उस कैंप में रहकर सरकार को बचाया गया तब गहलोत साहब ने कहा हम सब एम के अभिभावक हैं और कल जब मैं खुद गहलोत साहब के साथ तनोट माता जी के मंदिर गया हुआ था और डोटासरा जी थे हम तो वहां थे हिंदुस्तान के बॉर्डर पर तनोट माता जी का मंदिर हुआ आप इतिहास पता करना आपको खुद को लगेगा कैसा चमत्कार इस देश में ये वास्तव में राम और कृष्ण का देश है वहां साढ़े चार सौ बम गिरे लेकिन फूटे नहीं और आखिर उसी मंदिर में घुसकर हमारे लोगों ने इंतजारी की सुबह और फोर्स पहुंची और फिर पाकिस्तान को खदेड़ा और वो लड़ाई हिंदुस्तान जीता हम तो दर्शन कर रहे थे गहलोत साहब हमें तो लग रहा है कि वहीं पे खिचड़ी पकी हम जयपुर में क्योंकि गहलोत जी तो जो बयान दे रहे थे उसमें तो कह रहे थे कि हाँ सब हो गया है युवा चेहरे की जरूरत है मैं हटने को तैयार हूं अब न जाने मंदिर में जाके आपने दर्शन के अलावा वहां पर क्या खिचड़ी पकाई कि शाम आते आते गहलोत जी ने गुगली कर दी एकदम जबरदस्त नहीं राहुल जी ये मैं आपको कह दूं कसम खा के कह रहा हूं मैं क्षत्रिय वंश का कछावा वंश का राजपूत हूं हम राम का वंशज हैं हम लोग राम के वंशज मानते हैं अपने आप को ये बिल्कुल गलत बात है हमने एक शब्द वहां बात नहीं की 
गहलोत साहब तीन बार चीफ मिनिस्टर हैं हम लोग बच्चे हैं उनके सामने पॉलिटिक्स में 50 साल लगते हैं जब एक अशोक गहलोत बनता है गांधी खानदान के प्रति वो इतने वफादार हैं वो खुद कल एमएलए को लेकर उनका जो एक्शन था उसको नाराज थे लेकिन एमएलए ने उनको कहा कि धारीवाल जी से झगड़ा कर लिया एमएलए ने मैं माकन साहब से मिलकर छह बजे होटल से निकला जब वापस आया एयरपोर्ट से तो माकन साहब ने कहा आप धारीवाल जी को लेकर मेरे पास आ जाओ मैं धारीवाल जी से मिलने गया धारीवाल जी मेरे पिताजी से बड़े उम्र में उन्होंने मेरे को कह दिया कि भैया मैं बात कर लेता हूं फोन पे बात कर ली एमएलए तैयार नहीं हुए एमएलए ने कहा हमारा इस्तीफा ले लो लेकिन जो सरकार गिरा रहे थे उनको तो इनाम मिलेगा और जो 102 विधायक सरकार बचा रहे थे उनको आप डराओगे मुझे एक बात बताइए जब एक महीने तक जो लोग सरकार को गिराने में लगे हुए थे तो उनको तो आज तक नोटिस नहीं मिला आज मुझे किसी ने कहा नोटिस मिलेगा भैया हम नोटिस का सम्मान करेंगे जवाब भी देंगे कांग्रेस हमारा परिवार है सोनिया गांधी को देश का कांग्रेस का कार्यकर्ता अपनी मां के समान मानता है और मां हमेशा न्याय करती है ये ध्यान रखना आप जो लोग सरकार गिरा रहे थे आज सचिन पायलट से एग्जैक्टली प्रॉब्लम क्या है सोनिया गांधी आप उनकी लीडरशिप स्वीकार करने को क्यों तैयार नहीं हो लीडरशिप जबरन स्वीकार नहीं होती लीडर अपने आप आदमी स्वीकार करता है आप मुझे ये बताइए इस देश का मीडिया जब देश में चुनाव होता है तो वोटिंग से सरकार बनती है बीजेपी की सरकार बन गई केंद्र में वोटों में जीत गई बीजेपी राजस्थान में वोट गिरे कांग्रेस की सरकार बन गई अशोक गहलोत चीफ मिनिस्टर बन गए ज्यादा एमएलए ने उनके लिए राय दी आप मुझे ये बताइए इस देश का मीडिया ऐसा क्या हो गया कि बार बार किसी व्यक्ति का नाम लेता है मैं भी राजस्थान के यूथ मूवमेंट से निकला हुआ हूं राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी का प्रेसिडेंट बना और यहां तक आया मेरे परिवार के मुखिया भी तीन बार राजस्थान के चीफ मिनिस्टर रहे राजस्थान के सबसे बड़े ज्यादा आंदोलन मैंने किए संघर्ष मैंने किए मैं तो नहीं कह रहा मुझे चीफ मिनिस्टर बना दो आप कैसी बात करते हैं और राजस्थान में आप मैं अब मुझे अब समझ में आया कि दिल्ली से पॉलिटिक्स चलती है अब आइंदा से हम भी ध्यान रखेंगे और दिल्ली में भी ध्यान रखेंगे लेकिन मुझे ही बताइए आज ऐसा क्या हो गया एक एमएलए ने क्या गलत कह दिया फैसला तो हाईकमांड करेगा सोनिया जी करेगी उन 102 में से मुख्यमंत्री बनाइए जो सरकार बचाने में थे उनको मत बनाइए जो सरकार गिराने में थे क्या गलत कह दिया अचानक ऐसा क्या हो गया नहीं पर गहलोत जी अपने घर पे बैठे थे सीएलपी मीटिंग स्टार्ट होने वाली थी जब बॉल रिवर्स स्विंग होने स्टार्ट हुई जयपुर की पिच पे कोई भी जो इस वक्त देख रहा है दर्शक वो ये नहीं मानेगा कि खजारियावास जी की गहलोत जी से लगातार दना दन व्हाट्सएप पे मैसेजिंग नहीं चल रही होगी ऐसा तो हो नहीं सकता कि विधायक अपने ही दम पे लगे हुए हैं और गहलोत जी का उनको आशीर्वाद प्राप्त नहीं जो आप लोगों ने आंदोलन किया जो आपका रिबेलियन था कहीं ना कहीं अशोक गहलोत का आपका आशीर्वाद था खजारियावास साहब एक बात आप ध्यान रखना मैं आज तक इंडिया टू टूडे पे बोल रहा हूं मेरे बारे में राजस्थान जानता है मैं इससे बड़ी कसम नहीं हो सकती मैं मेरे जो मेरी स्टाइल रही है उसकी कसम खाकर कहता हूं अच्छा नहीं लगता कि जिसको मैं मानता हूं उसकी कसम खाकर कह रहा हूं ना तो कोई व्हाट्सएप चैटिंग हुई ना गहलोत साहब से बात हुई हमारे यहां पर जो राजनीति मैं करता हूं उसमें हम मैनेजमेंट स्क्रिप्ट और मीडिया मैनेजमेंट से राजनीति नहीं करते जो लोग दिल्ली में बैठकर मीडिया मैनेजमेंट से राजनीति करते हैं ना जो आपको आप जिनका नाम लेते हैं बार बार मैं सड़क का आदमी हूं दोनों का इतिहास लोग जानते हैं सड़क पर खून पसीना भागकर यहां तक आया हूं आज भी सड़कों पर जितना खून मैंने गिराया ना राजस्थान उतना किसी ने नहीं गिराया आप मुझे बता रहे हैं मैं मैनेजमेंट से पॉलिटिक्स नहीं करता और कसम खा के कह रहा हूं सुबह से मैं बोल रहा हूं मीडिया पे एक बार एक बार ये ये दिखा देंगे आपको बजरंग बली का राम दरबार यहां पर है देवांकुर जी दिखा देना इनको मैं एक बार मेरी आज गहलोत साहब से बात नहीं अभी मैंने धारीवाल जी का भी सिर्फ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस देखी है हम लोग आपस में बातचीत करके कुछ नहीं बोल रहे आप मुझे पूछ रहे हैं मैं आपको जवाब दे रहा हूं ऐसा नहीं है मैं आपको जो मैंने किया गहलोत जी इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व मैंने खुद ही कर दिया राजदीप भी आपसे कुछ पूछना चाहते हो जवाब भी देना चाहते हैं राजदीप डू बाय दैट तो देखो ऐसा है कि अशोक गहलोत इज अ लार्जर देन लाइफ फिगर टुडे इन राजस्थान सो खचरियावास जी कैन से वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट्स एंड ऑफ द डे अशोक गहलोत की ए, को ए, ए, पत्ता भी हिलता है जयपुर में उनको पता चलता है कांग्रेस में क्या हो रहा है सात दर्शन करने गए थे कहते हैं वहां पे बात नहीं हुई लेकिन इस बार नहीं नहीं तो ये कहना कि ये पूरा पूरी जो बगावत एक तरह से है अशोक गहलोत को इसके बारे में कुछ नहीं पता था ये बिल्कुल गलत है और मुझे लगता है खचरेवास जी ये तो माने तो खा रहे हैं गहलोत जी की नहीं नहीं खचरेवास जी ये सवाल ये उठता है आप मुझे कह रहे हैं इतने राजदीप जी राजदीप जी जी बताइए सर राजदीप जी ये जो आप मुझे कह रहे हैं तनोट मा तनोट माता जी के यहां सुबह मैं गहलोत साहब और डोटासरा जी चले गए छह बजे हम लोग हवाई जहाज से उतरे और जब हम हवाई जहाज से उतरे 
तब मुझे ये पता हमें ये तय हुआ था गहलोत साहब ने कहा सात बजे अपनी विधायक दल की मीटिंग है आप दोनों खड़गे साहब और माकन साहब से मिलकर और फिर उनके साथ मीटिंग में आ जाना डोटासरा जी गए वहां बात करने माकन साहब से तो मैंने कहा मैं घर होकर वापस आके मिलूंगा तो डोटासरा जी उनसे बात करें फिर मैं साढ़े छह बजे पहुंचा मैंने बात की माकन साहब से माकन साहब ने मुझे बताया कि धारीवाल जी के यहां पे 20-25 विधायक इकट्ठे हो गए आप उनको लेकर आ जाइए ये सच्चाई है मैं खुद गया धारीवाल जी को लेने तब वहां पचास से ज्यादा विधायक इकट्ठे हो चुके थे धारीवाल जी संसदीय कार्य मंत्री हैं वहां इकट्ठे हो गए थे मैंने उनकी फोन पर बात कराई और ये जब मैं जब हम वहां पर थे उसके पीछे ये सारे इकट्ठे हो गए मुख्य सचेतक महेश जोशी जी और बाकी एमएल एमएलए मंत्री सब वहां पर इकट्ठा थे मैं सच कह रहा हूं इस सारे मामले में हम तीनों की वहां पर रास्ते में कोई बात नहीं हुई पीछे से एमएलए इकट्ठे हो गए धारीवाल जी के एमएलए इकट्ठे हो ही सकते हैं तो उन्होंने कहा कि पहले हमारी बात सुनो उसके बाद मीटिंग में चलो सचिन पायलट का धारीवाल जी की पचास एमएलए जो है तो सवाल वो आपने जबरदस्ती करके बंद किए हुए उनका कोई इरादा नहीं था आपके कैंप में आने का और अगर गांधी फैमिली ने इंडिकेट किया कि सचिन पायलट ही सीएम होंगे तो कम से कम 40 से 50 लोग खचारियावास जी को छोड़ के सचिन पायलट के पास आ जाएंगे ऐसा दावा उनका कैम्प कर रहा है तो सचिन पायलट जी से खुद से पूछ लिया करो ना वो खुद ही आके बयान दे दें कोई सचिन पायलट जी को बोलना चाहिए एक बात बताइए जब वो पिछली बार गए थे तब उन्नीस लोग उनके साथ गए थे ये तो ये तो सही है या गलत है उन्नीस गए थे सही है और डेढ़ महीने तक वो बैठे रहे मानेसर में तब पचास नहीं गए भाग के अभी तक सरकार चल रही है और उनके उनमें से चार आदमियों या पांच आदमियों को मंत्री भी बना दिया तब भी उनके पास नहीं गए कल भी वो उठ के नहीं गए कौन कल तो लोग धारीवाल जी के घर पहुंच गए और सीएम हाउस नहीं पहुंचे क्या बात कर रहे हो आप प्रैक्टिकल बात कीजिए राहुल जी इतना पार्टी नहीं बनना चाहिए अच्छा ऐसा लगता है कि आपने जो किया उसके बाद गहलोत जी का चांद थोड़ा खराब हो गया यह बताया जा रहा है कि गांधी फैमिली काफी नाराज है गहलोत जी से मैंने कुछ नहीं किया यदि मैं करता तो हां कर देता मुझे डर नहीं लगता है जो मैं करता हूं वो बोलता हूं ऐसा मेरे करने से नहीं एमएलए सब मैं भी एमएलए हूं मंत्री हूं और मेरे जैसे एमएलए राजस्थान में कांग्रेस के पास सवा सौ है मेरे कहने की जरूरत नहीं सब एमएलए अपना डिसीजन लेते हैं सबने लड़ाई देखी है नेक्स्ट क्या होगा अगला यहां पर क्या होने वाला है आप चाहते हो कि गहलोत जी आप ही के पास रह जाए मतलब दिल्ली ना आए हमारे पास सब अच्छा होगा बिल्कुल गहलोत जी राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष बने दिल्ली जाएं पूरा देश का नेतृत्व तो संभालें गहलोत साहब ये मानकर चलिए इस देश में आटा दाल चावल पर टैक्स लग गया पेट्रोल डीजल से महंगाई हो गई हर एक घंटे में चार लोग आत्महत्या कर रहे हैं राहुल गांधी जी सड़कों पर संघर्ष कर रहे हैं हम भी सड़कों पर रोज आंदोलन करते हैं केंद्र सरकार के खिलाफ ये वक्त मोदी सरकार से लड़ने का है बगावत करनी है हमें मोदी सरकार के खिलाफ संघर्ष करना है मोदी सरकार के खिलाफ जवाब देना है बीजेपी को मैंने अपने लोगों से कहा कहां हमको नोटिस दे रहे हैं नोटिस दो बीजेपी वालों को संघर्ष का आह्वान करो राहुल गांधी पैदल चल रहे हैं फाले छाले पड़ गए हैं पांव में इस वक्त ये छोटी मोटी बातें देखकर ये वक्त ये नहीं है कि कौन नेतृत्व करेगा राजस्थान में ये वक्त है कि बहुमत के आधार पर डेमोक्रेटिक सिस्टम से जिसके पास एमएलए हो हाईकमांड उनसे बात करके जिसके पास बहुमत हो उसको चीफ मिनिस्टर बना दे और कोई ये झगड़ा ही नहीं है चीफ मिनिस्टर का लड़ाई बीजेपी से लड़नी है आपस में नहीं लड़नी है ना हम आपस में लड़ना चाहते हैं देश कांग्रेस की तरफ देख रहा है कचारियावासियों विमर्ज इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एज द फेस ऑफ दिस रिबेलियन आप कह रहे हैं कि बगावत करनी है भाजपा के खिलाफ एक तरीके से बगावत तो आपने कर दी है फिलहाल वो कांग्रेस के हाईकमांड के फैसले के खिलाफ हालांकि ये कह रहे हैं कि इसमें अशोक गहलोत का हाथ नहीं रख प्रताप सिंह कचारियावास ज्वाइनिंग अस ऑन द न्यूज ट्रैक थैंक यू ही सेट वॉट ही सेट ही इज द मैन हुज लेट दिस रिबेलियन आई वोट थ्रो ओपन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन सुनील झाकर ज्वाइन अस फॉर्म ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द पंजाब Congress committee is a man who's been in and now out has seen the workings of the Congress understands what's wrong with the way the party is being run so does Priyanka Chaturvedi now member of the Shiv Sena she had this wry smile as she was listening to Pratap Singh Khacharewa and saying thank god I'm out of this mess Priyanka welcome uh, we have uh, Nalin Kholi joining us representing the Bharatiya Janata Party Rahul Srivastava is a national affairs and Preeti Chaudhary has been reporting for us from Jaipur. So I want to go across first to uh, Sunil Jhakar. You heard Pratap Khacharyavas. You've seen the inner workings of the Congress. Is it according to you at all possible that uh, Pratap Khacharyavas led this entire rebellion against the decision of the Gandhi family without the active participation of Ashok Gehlot as he'd like us to believe? 
Rahul ji, I don't think it's for me to comment who has led the rebellion or not. But what I can see, ironic in the two, three statements which I've heard now, first coming from uh, Sardesai ji, he mentioned that nothing happens in Rajasthan which Galosav is not aware of. Don't you think, Rahul ji, this is something that uh, Congress High Command should have learned from him? That they could not gauge the emotions, sentiments and the aspirations and anxieties of uh, Galosav when he was dragged to contest this uh, presidentship of Congress party. Second ironic thing is that this whole uh, thing is being carried out, this election for presidentship of uh, Congress party, is to prove that Congress party works on democratic norms. And here on the other hand, they are planning to issue a notice to Galotsav for this very reason that the MLAs have raised their voice and they want to express their opinion. What is so undemocratic about it that Ajay Makanji is so upset about it? And it is this very Ajay Makanji, I may not know the working of the high command in Delhi, but Mr. Khadge Saab, Mr. Uh, Ajay Makan, I have been at the receiving end what is unfolding here in Jaipur. Khadge Saab was head of the committee which decided or recommended to uh, Congress leadership that Captain Amarinder Singh Ji should be removed from the Chief Minister. Khadge Saab was the one who recommended Sunil Jakhad should be removed as a PCC president and Nojo Singh Sidhu Ji should be made the PCC president. It's to Mr. Makan who came here to execute, the, execute these recommendations. And what happened? There was a one-liner passed which they are so worked about that the one-liner has to be passed. Punjab CLP, which had 80 members, passed a resolution saying that uh, Congress High Command should uh, take a call on this. But then they decided to have a vote. And this is the <laughs> irony of it that out of 80, 42 voted for Sunil. The nearest contender to me was, had got 16. And the one who was made the Chief Minister got two votes, Mr. Chenni. So that's why I wrote yesterday that let's see who's going to be Chenni because I thought who do you think will be Rajasthan ka channi? You've given this theory that out of this fight between Gehloth and Sachin will emerge a channi. Yes. Kaun hoga Rajasthan ka channi? Yes, yes, it's not just Mr. Gehloth and Mr. Uh, Sachin Pilot or Mr. C.P. Joshi, Govind Singh Ji Dudasra or Mr. Chaudhary Hemaram Ji. It will be somebody who was instrumental and the prime player in undoing of Congress uh, in Punjab. He also, along with uh, Mr. Sachin, uh, Mr. Makan, Ajay Makan, and Mr. Harish Rawat from Uttarakhand, there was another Harish here, who was called all sort of names, not by Sunil Jakhad, by a member of parliament, sitting member of parliament, who has not been given a notice, who called a gentleman, he says, Rajasthan ka lutera, yaan Punjab mein aaya. So I think this person is a blue-eyed boy, and this whole script has been written by him, everything is being followed to the T. And eventually he will emerge as the black sheep I call, it's not the dark horse. All these five, five dark horses are waiting and bidding for their time. Maybe they have their achkans all pressed and ready to be sworn in. But uh, Congress has not yet stopped digging its grave deeper. They are still digging. I thought they have reached the bottom, but they are still digging. And on top of that, another ironic thing before I beg your leave, uh, Rahul ji, that yesterday only, Mr. Lalu Prasad ji and Mr. Nitish Kumar ji came and called upon Congress President and asked her to lead the Mahagat Bandhan. Here you cannot keep Mr. Galoth together with you who has been like a shadow with the High Command all along. And how do you treat Mr. Galoth? I, I would say this would be like, as Shakespeare said, the most, most unkindness, that's the only time I think he used two superlatives, most unkindness cut of all is that they will issue a notice to him. Isn't this a joke? Uh, you can't even keep the load together and you expect to head a coalition with have, which will have Sharad Pawarji, you will have uh, Yachuri ji, you will have Natish Kumar ji, you will have Dalu Prasad and maybe some others also, maybe some other people will also join in. So how do you keep them together? I think here is a living example that somebody has not only kept the Congress government intact, having such a slight margin like they had 101 MLAs and he has kept this even in spite of the threat of from within and outside all kind of challenges, 10 independents are supporting Mr. Galoth. He should have been rewarded but uh, what this is their own, I think, at least only positive thing that I see from where I sit today, 
because I was also issued a notice and I'm very small fry, I'm nobody compared to Galot Saab. I, I, I would not compromise on my dignity and my self-respect and I don't think Galot Saab would even consider this, that he is issued a notice. And let me tell you, Rauji, I go on record with you, I'm not here, what you call this, Shade Freud, and not a, I'm not taking, seeking pleasure out somebody else's misery. I have stayed with the party for 50 years, and I feel, though I've parted ways, but I still have a feeling, and I think if a notice is given, you can take this notice to Galot Saab as epitaph of Congress party. Any Gareth Mandas would say, somebody who has some self-respect, whether he is a block Pradhan, whether he is some leader sitting in Maharashtra or anywhere in the country, they will resign because this will be a clear signal to all the so-called leaders or the people who have stood by the loyal with the Congress, they would, it would be Tumara number bhi lagega. And I think the well, first casualty in this case would be Bagel Saab. I think there is also a rebellion brewing. And let's see, first let this whole issue unfold and let, we will wait for the outcome. You know, you're in a Shakespearean mood today, but over the last 10 minutes you've done some Aag Me Ghi Ka Kaam. Uh, you warned against the consequences which may follow. No, no, I, I, Rauji, no, no, don't blame me. I want it. I, I am not to be blamed. It is Congress party's own doing. Only positive thing that I saw in this whole thing was okay. that at least nobody has yet blamed BJP for it, that BJP's lotus operation is going on. It is their own doing and they are still digging deep, deeper and deeper. I don't know when they so, will stop. So Neil Kumar Jakar's money is on Harish Chaudhary who was the Congress in charge of uh, Punjab. He's the man Jakar thinks will be the Rajasthan ka channi. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Jakar. I want to go across now to Priyanka Chaturvedi, who, as I said earlier, had this very wry half smile as she was listening to Pratap Singh Khacharyavas speak of all that was happening within. You've been in the Congress. You're now on the outside. The Shiv Sena ran a government along with uh, the Congress and the NCP in Maharashtra. It is true that efforts are on at this moment to bring uh, the opposition together. In the light of what's happening in uh, Rajasthan at this moment and their inability to hold on to someone who's as close uh, to the Gandhis as Ashok Gehloth, do you think it really signals trouble for the opposition and for the Congress in particular? I think what is happening within the Congress party is something that the Congress presidentship, Congress leadership would handle. Uh, with regards to the change of leadership, the change of uh, Congress being uh, led by, uh, uh, effectively led by Srimati uh, Sonia Gandhi to someone who is coming from a non-Gandhi background. It was Mr. Ashok Gehloth who declared that he would want to contest the president election. It is his MLAs in uh, Rajasthan, it's an elected assembly, MLAs have come winning their constituencies who are showing a, uh, you know, a, a sense of confidence in his leadership, then I do not know where, where would you consider this rebellion. Rebellion would mean that they are going against some kind of uh, leadership uh, that, that has been maintained over the many years. Mr. Ashok Gehloth has been the leader uh, when he was elected as the chief minister. In 2020, these very MLAs had seen a rebellion happen, uh, engineered by the Bharatiya Janata Party, to try and bra break the rank and file of the Congress party and pull down the government. We've seen that happen in Maharashtra. He successfully managed to undo that coup, continued to be the chief minister. If he enjoys the support of his MLAs and his MLAs have expressed something, I think it is only fair that the leadership hears, him, hears them out and takes a call which is a call of consensus rather than uh, a call which goes against uh, what the MLAs think. But uh, that is again, I would like to say that is something which is an internal churning. So you are suggesting party that the leader. Congress should really respect the fact that Rajasthan MLAs or at least a majority of them would like Gehloth or someone of his choice and not Sachin Pilot to be the next chief minister and you don't think of this as an act of rebellion? So, so, so I have no act of rebellion. I, I mean, I would want to understand if there is going to be a consensus on who's going to be leading them. Then the, the, uh, the sense of consensus has to come from the MLAs, if I'm not mistaken. I know in BJP, overnight, a sitting chief minister is asked to resign along with his entire cabinet and the next day the new chief minister is made to sit and the entire new cabinet uh, uh, swears allegiance to the new chief minister without MLAs being told what is happening, it's coming from Delhi. 
but that is not how it should be. It is something that they have seen. So it's a very unique case. You can't even compare it to a Punjab. What happened in Punjab? Of course, that was a royal mess. But what you're seeing here is something which is a churning internally, as the, uh, far as the top leadership of the party is concerned, as well as the top leadership of Rajasthan is concerned. So uh, the sooner they end it, the sooner they reach some kind of conclusion, the better it would be for uh, the party. And as far as uh, alliances, alliance partners are concerned, we are all all on page to ensure that uh, we come across as a strong opposition and uh, speak about the BJP's policies which uh, are not working for the people of the country, whether it is price rise, whether it is fuel prices, whether it is various other issues that are afflicting the people of this country, unemployment, taxes, everything. Okay, the Shiv Sena essentially is suggesting that you want this royal mess to get over and get on with the real task of fighting the BJP rather than fighting themselves. Priyanka Chaturvedi for joining us on the news track. Thank you very much. Nalin Kohli hasn't had much to say so far and he hasn't needed to because there is a big Congress Toro Andolan that's going on rather than Bharat Jodo and this from the BJP's perspective is great news. How are you sitting in the BJP looking at your opponents duking against each other? You'd be delighted. It's really not about delight, uh, Rahul, and the honest truth is it just exposes the hollowness and the duplicity in the Congress party. I mean, Mr. Rahul Gandhi's on this imaginary Bharat Jodo Yatra, India as a united country has been since 47, after the Todo Abhiyan that resulted in two countries being formed. So, I mean, there is no need to Jodo India. The only thing that needs to be Jodoed is the Congress party. I mean, it's imploding. That's the clear thing. So why pick the BJP up in this so-called thing and RSS and try to make a thing? This is possibly an attempt by Mr. Rahul Gandhi and his advisors to remove focus from the real problems that beset the Congress party. And you're seeing a classic example here of what's happening in Rajasthan. Another point to note is, it's okay. It's for the Congress party to run its party as it wishes to, its leadership. We are not here to advise it and nor do we wish to advise it. But the fact of the matter is there are two standards in the Congress party, one for the family, as in the family, and one for the rest of the Congress party. So if you have a Rajiv Gandhi or an Indra Gandhi and perhaps even a Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, I'm not sure about him, but certainly Indra Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, if my memory is correct, they both were presidents of the Congress party while being prime minister. But that rule cannot apply to a non-Gandhi family member. So you have a one man, one post. So this also exposes the typical Congress uh, approach that the Gandhi Nehru Gandhi family will have a set of rules. The rest of the Congress party will have another set of rules. So you that's know, the second in point. In the midst of all of the this, third point what? is okay, go on. with regard to the Congress party, which uh, just to say that I think Sunil Jakharji made a very, very interesting observation that you're talking about democracy and you are, what you are seeing is a directive from the top without any element of democracy. So why have this farce? Why? The Congress, look, a political party is entitled to run the way its leadership wants. They have a family-centric leadership. The BJP doesn't have that. In the BJP, a poor person can become the prime minister without belonging to any special pa family, which is Narendra Modi. Or the same would apply to J.P. Nadda ji, Amit Shah ji, Vinkaya Naidu ji, Rajnath ji, everyone. L.K. Advani ji and so on and so forth, right up to Atal Vyari, Vajpayee, Pandit Deen Dhyal, Upadhyay, all of them. They didn't belong to a particular family and they didn't occupy the positions in the BJP or in the government for being in a particular family. Now the Congress and many other political parties run around a family. That is their model. We, can't, we are no one to advise, don't run it like that. But why pretend that you don't wish to run it like that? This entire saga clearly shows that this is how the Congress will run with the, with the diktat of the Nehru Gandhi family. So run it like that. Why this hypocrisy about democracy? Why this hypocrisy and duplicity about Bharat Jodo? Everything is there. Okay. You do your political work if you wish to do it. Why foist it on somebody else? Why blame us okay. for Bharat Jodo or as if the country is in turmoil? When, when you got opponents the like the, the Congress? We do. And the government in power doesn't really have much to do the opponents kind of uh, implored 
and take each other down. So Nalin Kohli has had very little to do on this show and he's very happy with the way the Congress is imploding. Thanks for joining us, Nalin. We'll come back to you when there's a real fight. The fight should really be BJP versus Congress, not Congress versus Congress. Rahul Srivastav joins us and I've got Supriya Bhardavaj joining us. Uh, Supriya Bhardavaj is in Koppam in Kerala, which is where Rahul Gandhi is in in our entire newsroom, Supriya knows Rahul Gandhi's mind better than anybody else does. So, Supriya, what does RG think of what's happening in Rajasthan? Ashok Gehloth was said to be his choice. Both Sonia and Rahul share a good equation with Ashok Gehloth. He's rebelled. His MLAs say uh, Gehloth wasn't involved. Does Rahul Gandhi buy that? He's busy playing football with his kids in Kerala in those pictures from Palakkad. Uh, but what's he thinking of this royal mess in Rajasthan? Well, as far as uh, Rajasthan is concerned and Rahul Gandhi is concerned, Rahul, Rahul Gandhi last evening had a very long discussion with all his lieutenants including Venu Gopal and today morning Venu Gopal was rushed to Delhi and his strategies was formed and at the same time also Ajay Makan was uh, along with Malikarjun Gharge came back uh, from Jaipur to Delhi, Ajay Makan didn't even meet Ashok Gelo and uh, all the leaders in the Congress party are maintaining uh, that the high command is very angry uh, with the way things have happened in the state of uh, uh, Rajasthan yesterday. That's why the tough stand which has been taken by the central leadership, we are seeing that as to how now the MLAs are coming out and saying that Gelot is nowhere involved. There's a huge question mark which has been put on Mr. Gelot now because on one side he has said very famously that his resignation is with Congress President and whenever she will say to step down, he will step down. But then when the time came, when the moment came, uh, what he did was nothing but uh, he went all out and actually ensured uh, that uh, uh, there is actually uh, nothing but a show of strength uh, by Jaipur uh, to New Delhi. Well, as far as the Congress's uh, leaders are concerned, the MLS are concerned, uh, we are picking up this information that already the hunt for the next Congress uh, candidates, uh, presidential poll candidates have started. There are four names which are emerging, one being that of Mukul Vasing, second being that of Malik Arjun Kharge, third being that of KC Venugopal and even Digvijay Singh. So, already uh, hectic meetings are taking place uh, in the national capital at the moment and here also in Kerala a strong vigil has been kept as to what is the development taking place in Rajasthan as well as in Delhi. So one thing is for sure that this time uh, the Congress uh, party leaders are saying that on one hand uh, we are ensuring that there is a Bharat Jodo Yatra. We were making sure that no issue goes to in the hands of the BJP but what has happened in Rajasthan has actually it's better. Uh, How did they, you know, there's one thing about uh, having this Bharat Jodo Yatra, the other is about having your nose to the ground and having your ear to the ground and knowing what's going on in your own party. How can the Gandhi family be so clueless about what Ashok Gehloth was planning? Well, as far as Ashok Kehlot is concerned, he is one of the most trustworthy aid of uh, the Gandhi family and what, what has come yesterday. Everybody thought that all the, uh, when the CLP leader uh, meeting has been called, all the MLS will come. They will actually go all out and uh, uh, pass that one line resolution that Congress President is authorized uh, to take whatever decision and then there would be a nomination on the date of 28th or 29th by Ashok Gehlot. That didn't happen. What happened was a show of strength and the development which took place in Jaipur took everybody uh, by surprise whether it was in Delhi or in Kerala where the Bharajodo Yata was, uh, was going on. Why I spoke to one of, the, one of the most senior leaders in the party and uh, he said uh, that what has come is nothing short of a shock because uh, Gelot, this was not expected from Gelot. This is what a very senior leader of the Congress party, a CWC member has said. So there is a huge criticism which is coming towards Mr. Gelot's side over so, as far as the Congress party is concerned, what we are picking up from the sources is that somehow, most likely, Mr. Gehloth is out from the race of okay. the presidential Okay, so if Gehloth is out, party, who and, and another, what could happen next? Rahul Srivastav, Malika Arjun Kharge, uh, Mukul Vasnik, Digvijay Singh, KC, Venu Gopal, these are some of the names that are doing the rounds. If you were to do a SWOT analysis, given what's happened with Ashok Gehloth and given how trustworthy Ashok Gehloth was deemed to be before 7 p.m. last evening, what do you think is most likely from here? Is Gehloth completely out? Who's most likely in? See Rahul, if you look at the chaos theory uh, and I think right now what the Congress 
uh, is going through something like that. Though somebody like uh, Shashi Tharoor, with his level of articulation, calls it the the Farago movement, uh, the conf the confused mixture. Uh, in that, I think everything seems to be moving. The Congress might eventually have no choice but to lean back on Sonia Gandhi. I think if the Congress has to, because there is going to be further mess. Uh, it's not going to end here because what was initially bad, uh, Sachin Pilot in the bad books of MLAs is now uh, Ashok Gehlot in the bad books of the Congress High Command. Then you have got a situation in which Ashok Gehlot has created a situation in which he wanted to stay innocent by going to the Tanod Devi's temple in Jaisalmer where his phone doesn't work. But very steadily over the last uh, 15 days he has been going to different areas where the uh, Grameen Olympics are going on. Now, he has been meeting people on the sidelines. They are all the MLAs and sending across a political message. I think a preparation was on. Uh, I think if call records are checked, uh, of several MLAs who reached the gate of the chief minister's residence, who called those people, 11 of them, I am told, that they should actually go to Mr. Shanti Dhariwal's house. So, the picture will get clear. I think the Congress has moved into a zone where it will be very difficult for Ashok Gehlot to be there. If Malikarjun Kharges and others were a choice, then I think the Congress would have leaned on them earlier. I think the Congress needed somebody with experience and trust, which Ashok Gehlot has betrayed. Instead of cutting the hand, which biting the hand, which was feeding him to the top of the party, he has actually, like a magician, made the powers of the high command disappear for a certain amount of time. And I think that's why that one-line resolution which Supriya was talking about authorized Sonia Gandhi. I think the Congress high command's first task will be now to get that one-line resolution passed to ensure that the authority of the high command is maintained in the Congress party. Otherwise, I think there are some very tough times ahead. Okay. Preeti Chaudhary joins us from Jaipur. She's been speaking to multiple people in the Sachin pilot camp. What's Bechara pilot thinking of what's happening at this moment? He's, you know, he's the typical person who's always set to sit on the Duleka, uh, Duleka throne and it never works out for him. He's all set, ready to go and somehow just at the last moment, the ball seems to swing against him. So what's going to happen to Pilot? What's he making of this? But, you know, Rahul, the dust is just about settling on uh, uh, what happened or what went down yesterday. But, you know, if last night we were talking about uh, the fact that, uh, you know, the Jadugar, the magician, uh, Ashok Gelov has pulled out another rabbit uh, from his hat. Uh, you know, by the evening today, uh, at least in Jaipur political circles, there is talk that maybe Ashok Gelov could have overplayed. The magician overplayed his hand. Uh, you know, there seems to be new rigor uh, where uh, the uh, Sachin pilot camp is concerned. And why I tell you that is, let's look at Shanti Dhariwal's press conference that has just taken place. There is a sense of maybe not panic, but there is a sense of urgency in the Gelov camp of... Uh, uh, MLAs to convey to the public that, listen, hey, this is not about uh, Ashok Gehlot and Sonia Gandhi. Why are you making it about the high command? You know, uh, you know, people like us who come from Delhi to cover, uh, you know, the, uh, the going-ons here are getting calls from the, you know, uh, the um, MLAs from the Gehlot camp telling us that why are you projecting it as Gehlot versus the high command? No, but, it, but, while, and, but while someone like a Sachin Pilot, Preeti, would be a favorite mm -hmm. of the Delhi media, and most people watching India today at this time, I presume, would want someone like him to be the Chief Minister of Rajasthan. He doesn't have the backing of the majority of the Congress MLAs in the state of Rajasthan. And that's the fact. And they're the ones, not the viewers of India Today TV, not the reporters tracking the beat or the story. They're the ones who will decide who gets to be the next CM. Why is he so unpopular amongst his MLAs? But, you know, the fact is, uh, Rahul, he knows that better. He knows he doesn't have the number. So what has Sachin Pilot done now? He's put all his eggs in only one basket, which is the Gandhi basket, which is rather untenable at this point of time. So if the Gelot camp is trying to underplay the Gelot versus Sonia uh, uh, conflict, the Sachin Pilot camp would want us to believe or would want to overplay that it is a Gelot versus uh, the uh, high command battle. And he's now out of the race. So on that account, Sachin Pilot is hoping that this becomes about a fight between the High Command and Gaylord, that Gaylord is completely cut off the presidential elections. The MLAs will read the writing and slowly gravitate towards back to what the High Command whip was. So that is where Sachin Pilot comes from. He knows he doesn't have the numbers. 
you know, even if we go with what went down yesterday, uh, not more than 10 MLAs are by his side. But having said that, through the course of the evening, when we've been talking to a lot of MLAs who actually put pen to paper on that resignation yesterday at CP Joshi's residence, many of them, after the news floated that possibly the high command is not very happy with the show Gelot, that he could be completely out of the president's race, a lot of them are now gravitating back towards maybe not such in pilot, but a constant reassurance, especially to the media that listen, okay. you know, we are with what the high command says.